Hello, I'm David Chester with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at Everything You Need to Know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news that markets have moved into a risk-off mode today. But first, the Chinese have approved credit rate at Standard & Poor's to issue ratings for Chinese companies. Large American credit card companies are also trying to get access approvals. And Chinese New Year is upon us again, starting a huge family reunion migration that will involve more than 400 million rail trips alone, expected to be 8.3% higher than the record smashed just one year ago. Overnight, European equity markets were lower across the board, and by almost 1%. That follows Japan, Hong Kong and Shanghai, which were all lower. Australia was closed yesterday, of course, and the NZX traded very thinly. Today, the Standard & Poor's 500 is down 1.2% in midday trade. Bellwether stock Caterpillar reported sharply lower profits that surprised analysts because that is a sharp reversal from the prior 2018 quarters. They have been hurt by soft demand in China, plus higher US manufacturing costs and freight costs. That sent their shares tumbling more than 8%. And a respected quarterly survey of business investment in the US has reported that 84% of businesses didn't change their business capital investment or hiring plans following the $1.5 trillion business tax cut. That's a cut from 35% to 21% that came into effect on January 1, 2018. That proportion was actually higher than the 2017 number of companies, 81% back then. Those corporate tax cuts were designed to spur business spending and job growth. That hasn't happened there, apparently. In the US, the Trump administration has lifted sanctions on a key oligarch and ally of Vladimir Putin. It's a move that not all lawmakers approve of in the US. A new trade dispute is brewing between Malaysia and the EU over the EU's campaign against palm oil. And the biggest trade dispute of all at present is the looming Brexit deadline. Ireland is saying it will not accept any changes to an agreement aimed at preventing a hard board on the island of Ireland. London is boxed in and under pressure, more so as supermarket chains now say they can't be sure they can maintain food supplies in the event of a hard Brexit. That may occur in just 60 days. A plan, however, is on the table in the London Parliament to extend the UK membership of the EU if a hard Brexit is the only option. The US Treasury 10-year yield is three basis points lower today to be just on 2.73% and building on the last week's small fall. Their 2.10 curve is now under 15 basis points. Gold is holding on to its new higher level of $1,302 an ounce. And US oil prices have fallen very sharply today, down almost $2 a barrel to just on $51.50 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is just on $59.50 a barrel. Markets are past the turmoil in Venezuela and now concentrating on the lower market demand conditions. And the Kiwi dollar starts today holding at 68.3 US cents, while the cross rates were very little changed at 95.4 Aussie cents and 59.8 Euro cents. That puts the TWI at 72.4. I'm David Chaston. That was 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz.